A 100 liter container is completely filled with a mixture of milk and water in the ratio of 4 is to 1 respectively. And another 240 liter container contains 200 liter mixture of milk and water in the ratio of 7 is to 3 respectively. 40 liter is taken out of first container and mixed thoroughly in the second container. Then 30 liter is taken out of the second container and mixed in the first one. How? I'm sorry about this. This should be how many, right? How many liters of milk is now present in the first container? How many liters of milk is now present in the first container? So you can see that there's a, there's a, uh, you know, there's a whole process that happens here, right? We have a 100 liter container, right? Container one, container number one, the quantity is 100 liters. It has got milk and water in what ratio? 4 is to 1. Right, 100 liter container is completely filled with milk and water in the ratio of 4 is to 1 respectively. Right, ratio is 4 is to 1. So, milk is to water is equal to uh, 4 is to 1. 4 is to 1. Now, you just have to divide 100 liters in the ratio of 4 is to 1. So, you'll get 80 liters milk and 20 liters water. Right, very easy to do mentally. You don't have to put pen on paper for this. So, I can say it has got 80 liters milk and 20 liters water. Now, there is another 240 liter container. Another 240 liter container which contains only 200 liters of milk and water understand this is full this is this container one is full to the brim right fully filled 100 liter mixture it has got yeah it's, it's completely filled he said but then the second container the second container whose capacity is 240 liters the capacity is 240 liters total capacity 240 liters but it has been filled only up to 200 liters it, it, it contains 200 liters right up to this right only up to 200 liters of milk and water in the ratio of 7 is to 3. Here, milk and water is in the ratio of 7 is to 3. 7 is to 3. Yeah. So, basically, this 200 can be divided in the ratio of 7 is to 3. Now, we, we don't really have to divide 100 liters in the ratio of 4 is to 1 or 200 liters in the ratio of 7 is to 3 because even before we do that, what is happening? 40 liter is taken out of the first container. So, from the first container, you are taking 40 liters. You will take how much? 40 liters and mix thoroughly in the second container. So, there is step 1. In step 1, you would remove 40 liters from container 1 and put it in container 2 right so let's let's look at that step one now basically this 40 liter which is taken out of container one remember whenever you are removing a quantity of mixture you won't get pure milk or pure water right when i'm removing 40 liters from container one i won't get 40 liters of milk or 40 liters of water it will be a mixture of milk and water and that mixture will also be in the ratio of 4 is to 1 so this 40 liter which is being removed has to be divided in the 4 is to 1 ratio so i think five parts right four in one is five parts you will get uh, 8 part. I mean, each part is equal to 8 liters, right? 40 liters when you divide in 5 equal parts, each part would be 8 liters. So, 4 parts is 8 into 4, 32. 1 part is 8. So, I think, so you understand what we are doing. We have removed 40 liters. I am trying to find out out of this 40, how much is milk and how much is water? What quantity is milk and what quantity is water? So, I find that this is 32 liters milk and 8 liters water. So, 32 is to 8, you see 4 is to 1. 32 plus 8, 40. Now, this 32 and 8 are getting added to what? The existing quantity. What is the existing quantity? Remember, it had uh, 200 liters of mixture. In what ratio? 7 is to 3 ratio. 7 is to 3 ratio. So, if you have to divide 200 in the ratio of 7 is to 3, see 7 and 3 are total 10 parts. 200 divided in 10 parts, what do you get? Each part will be equal to 20 liters. So, basically, again, say here milk was 7 into 20, 140 liters milk and 60 liters water. So, 140 plus 60 is 200, 140 is to 60, 7 is to 3. So, in step 1, basically, you have taken 40 liters from container 1 and you are adding it to what? You are adding it to container 2. Container 2 has got 140 liters milk and 60 liters water. So, what is the final uh, quantity that we have? 140 plus 32, 172 liters milk and 68 liters water. This is what is there in container 2. This is there in container 2. This is there in container 2 after step 1 after step 1. This is what is there in container 2 after step 1. You are getting it. You just have to do it this way. I mean, I mean, it, the, the explanation looks lengthy, but uh, if you know what has to be done, you can you can play with these numbers very quickly, right? I mean, and don't draw this diagram and waste your precious time. I mean, don't do this drama in the exam, right? Just play with numbers. So basically from 40 liters of mixture 1, I have got 32 liters milk, 8 liters water. I have added to 140 liters of milk and 60 liters of water in the container 2. So the new quantities of milk and water in container 2 is 172 and 68. And by the way, after step 1, what will be the quantities in container 1? See, we are talking about this is whole, this whole is step 1. What will be the quantities in container 1? I had 
how much milk and how much water? 100 liters, right? 100 liters means 80 liters milk. 80 liters milk and 20 liters water initially. 80 and 20, the ratio is 4 is to 1. And 80 plus 20 is 100 liters. But from this 100, 32 and 8 were removed. So 80 minus 32. You understand? 80 liters of milk was there from which 32 was removed. So we had 48 liters of milk. And from 20, you have removed 8. 12 liters of water. So what we have got now is final quantities after step 1 in container 2 and container 1. Now the same process has to be repeated. What happens now? Now in the second step, in step 2, what are we doing in step 2? 30 liter is taken out of the second container. 30 liter is taken out of second container and mixed with the first one. So basically I am now removing 30 liters. 30 liters from container 2. This 40 liters were removed from container 1. 30 liters is being removed from container 2. This 30 should be divided in what ratio? Now when you remove 30 liters, the question is how much milk and how much water would come out? What quantity of milk is going to come out and what quantity of water is going to come out? And he says that after removing 30 liters, this contents will get added to container 1. See, container 1 after step 1 had 48 liters of milk and 12 liters of water. He says how many liters of milk is now present in the first container. So finally, we have to find out the quantity of milk in the first container. So if you observe, I already know, I, I know that already there is 48 liters of milk in container 1. All we have to find out is out of this 30 liters, how much is milk? Add that to 48 liters and you will get the answer. Yes or no? There will be some milk and some water. So how much is the milk is the question. How can you find out this milk? Let's say milk you remove is M dash and water you remove is W dash. So how, how can you get this M dash? Simple. What is the ratio? 172 out of 240 multiplied by 30. Yes or no? How do you find out how much is milk? 172 parts out of total 172 plus 68. 240 parts multiplied by 30 to get the quantity of milk that is getting removed. Out of 30, how much is milk? Simplify this goes how many times? 8 times. So 172 by 8, 160 by 8 is 20, 12 by 8 is 1.5, 21.5. So I know that out of these 30 liters which has been removed from container 2, 21.5 liters is milk. And this 21.5 liters is going to go and get added to 48 liters of existing milk in container 1. So how many liters of milk is now present in first container? It already had 48 liters after step 1. And in step 2, we have removed 21.5 liters from container 2. So 48 plus 21.5, 69.5 liters is going to be the answer. 